Welcome to another unboxing. This is Upturned Table, and today we have quite an accomplishment. A Kickstarter that fulfilled exactly when they said it would. <laughs> this date, uh, Footsore Miniatures does uh, Gangs of Rome. And the date for fulfillment was January 2024. So they did it. It arrived on the last day of January all the way to Japan. So that's amazing. So uh, yeah, mad respect to Futsur uh, Miniatures. They really did a good job. And this is not like a single book or a very small Kickstarter. This is multiple miniatures and tokens and a hardcover rule book and all sorts of good things that we'll uh, see inside. So uh, yeah, that's quite an accomplishment. They should be very uh, uh, proud of themselves in the age of materials costs and shipping costs and the coming off the pandemic, everybody's got an excuse for, for why their uh, crowdfunder is delayed by months or years. And these guys did it. So very happy to see this. So because I must be on some crazy list, I get dinged again for uh, uh, import <laughs> fees. I think if it says game and it's over a certain amount, I'm going to get hit every time. So I had to pay like an extra like 10 bucks, but uh, I think it's going to be worth it. So this is the beginner's starter bundle. And they also offered a veterans bundle that didn't include any miniatures uh, because they assumed you already had them from the first version. So this is a, a kind of updated a new version of this game with new miniatures. And there's a plastic kit in here as well by Working Atlantic. So let's take a look at what we got. So this is supposed to be everything you need to play except the scenery. So we should have full gangs, all the rules, all the tokens, uh, lots of good stuff. So let's see what we got. So I got rid of the uh, invoices and things on top so I don't dox myself. But right away, yeah, we have the uh, War Games Atlantic box of Citizens of Rome. So this was quite a... Uh, quite a nice thing uh, to see that they did a whole plastic set to support uh, to support the game. And so this is, you know, a completely separate production from a completely separate company, and they still managed to get it done on time. So we'll take a look at those. And we've got some dice with Roman numerals on them. Oh, yeah, these look, uh, these look nice. Oh, yeah. Those are great. Very readable, not too... Uh, decorative in their font or anything so very easy to read and here's the oh yeah so here's their metal miniatures that were included plus uh bases as you can see we'll go through all of that and a second set of dice <laughs> for two players and here's more it looks like laser cut mdf bases for our individual miniatures so we got metal and plastic and whoa here we go and another gang with their bases. Nice. And here are their token sheets. Oh, nice. Yeah, they separated it into a, some two smaller sheets. So all the tokens that we're going to need. And that feels nice and thick as well. And some protection. That's nice. Uh, protection from the... Uh, uh, metal miniature scraping your uh, scraping your rule book all the heck and uh, and nice too a hard cover rule book look at this nice to see yeah I've been uh, fooled a couple of times with some nice looking uh, books and they don't specify hard or soft and the price is a soft cover price <laughs> it's not is not a soft cover price it's a hard cover price but this is great all right so let's start right off. So in a time when Rome's elite wield brutal gangs as instruments of their will, Gangs of Rome invites you to forge your path to power. As a Dominus, you will recruit and command a motley crew of ruthless fighters, manipulating them to achieve your goals. With their savagery tempered by your cunning, you will rise to the ranks of Roman society, crushing all who stand in your way. This book provides a comprehensive set of rules for controlling and equipping your gang, engaging in cinematic skirmishes among the city's teeming populace, and the innovative action stack mechanic allows you to create unique and varied activations for your gang, and ensuring that no two games are, are the same. So Gangs of Rome is a different approach to ancient tabletop gaming, focusing on the gritty underbelly of Roman society, with gameplay emphasis on narrative, uh, Gangs of Rome 
on the narrative. Games, Gangs of Rome is perfect for players who want to experience one-off games or run a campaign in ancient Rome's dark and dangerous streets. Whether you seek to amass wealth, gain influence, or carve out a place for yourself in a cutthroat world of, of the gangs, Gangs of Rome offers a unique and engaging gaming experience. Memento Mori. And he has foot sore miniatures. So by George Essling and uh, Andy Hobday. Nice. And great art on the cover there. Cool. Yeah, and this is the... Uh... Oh, cool. Yeah, so they did uh, They did an upgraded cover because this was uh, on the Kickstarter page. This is what they were showing as the cover. And this may have been the cover of a previous version or maybe their first mock-up. But this is nice. Yeah, they got a full, uh, full painted cover. So we'll just go uh, quickly through the book so you can see. A nice, uh, not, a, not glossy, kind of a, a semi-gloss, but nice uh, coat on the pages. So nice and clear to read. Let me make sure I get that all up there for you. So the core rules, advanced rules, campaign rules, and appendix. Oh, good. A painting guide, maps, and tables for stories and names. Excellent. So welcome to Gangs of Rome, a fast-paced and action-packed skirmish game where different scenarios are fought out by small gangs battling to further their patron's political career, inspired by the history of the great city. Excellent. Oh, great. Nice photography of painted miniatures. Yeah, they offered a whole, and I think they had some previously, a whole array of uh, MDF terrain that looks, re uh, looks really nice. So... Have to look. I, I didn't want to be completely la completely lazy, and this setting inspired me. So hopefully, I can get some <laughs> terrain done myself because I'm able to cut and do uh, a lot of stuff here. So let's hope that goes well. So what is needed to play? So a three by three play area, miniatures to represent the gang, miniatures to represent the crowds of Rome, known as mob bases. So those larger bases that you saw, yeah, like like these here are the uh, mob bases. So a gang uh, roster sheet, modeled terrain, or a 2D representation of terrain, six-sided dice, four action tokens, and a selection of counters equal in size and weight and feel. So three different colors. One color to represent your gang, one your opponents, and one for the mob. It is important these tokens are identical physically and only differ visually. Oh, wow. I just bought three different colored and like mini poker chips. <laughs> so if they don't have, I think they, in the, in this sheet, I think we've got everything we're going to need, but uh, oh yeah, it looks like, it looks like we do, but what a coincidence. So yeah, things. And I think that's what we're drawing from this bag. So that's everything. Yeah. Our three by three, our roster sheet, our terrain. Yes. And our tokens. Yes. That was that eight. Yes. So these are the tokens. Yeah. So those will feel exactly the same in the bag. Excellent. And we've got a gauge as well. I hope I didn't see. Uh, we'll take a look at everything. So the object of the game. So Gangs of Rome is a small scale skirmish game depicting the uh, underhand, underhand tactics used by the rich and powerful elite of Rome to gain prestige and power. So you'll control 28 millimeter miniatures, five to 10 per side as they battle across the streets of and countryside of Rome. The aim of the game is to control objectives during narrative scenarios, which can range from simple street fights to elaborate assassination plots. The game is set in a time of great political and social turmoil. The rich and powerful elite are locked in a constant struggle and will stop at nothing to achieve their goals, except to get wealthy, uh, their, hand, uh, <laughs> their, hand, their wealthy hands dirty. This makes a game full of intrigue and betrayal and violence and features a vital narrative element. That's great. There we go. Yeah, there must be a bag in there. So here's our fighters uh, stats explained. So vitality, attack, defense, agility, and cost. And then the round sequence, activation phase and housekeeping phase. And then the draw. So the activation, so the order in which the, uh, each player activates Gangs of Rome is random. So the players take turns drawing uh, blind uh, draw tokens from a bag or container. The color of the drawn token will decide who is activated. This is called the draw. The draw is how the activation order of each turn is decided. The draw consists of three colored groups of tokens placed in an opaque bag or container. 
So number of gold tokens equal to the number of gangs present in player one, silver player two, and several mob tokens equal to half the number of the mob bases rounded up used in a given scenario. So those are all provided. Nice. All right, yes, and so talking about the activation. Oh, great, and here's uh, elevation and terrain. So examples of uh, who and where. Attack and leap. Blend, bind, push, pull. Pick up, put down, exit the mob. Nice. So a deployment from <laughs> from the mob bases. Oh, that's nice. I like that they give a lot of examples of movement and how the attack and defense dice work, how melee combat works. Most basic form of the number of hits from the attack dice is greater than the number of successful defense dice. The defender will take damage equal to the difference. Cool. Unhindered line of sight. Housekeeping terrain. Terrain is a crucial aspect of Gangs of Rome. It adds verticality and truly makes the game feel three-dimensional. However, this does not necessarily mean that you must recreate Rome on your kitchen table to enjoy the game. <laughs> nice. Ah, objective markers also included. Oh, great. And then here's some example scenarios. Looting, market opportunity, bounty, and then example gangs, and two, count them, two ribbon bookmarks. Nice. So the blue gang, the red gang, and here's their rosters. So yeah, if you want to right away uh, jump in, here's uh, two examples of rosters you can use, and here's the advanced rules. So there's optional rules, vigils, vigilists. And game setup using Vigilus. Oh, vig okay, so I guess like patrol in the streets to make it diff more difficult. Dropping objectives, unsafe terrain. Nice. Oh, excellent, yeah. Different types of... Uh, use the following weapon profiles for the different types of scatter <laughs> that you want to throw. Throw bricks, <laughs> throw wine... Uh, <laughs> nice. Throw amphoras of wine or sacks of what, a green or whatever. Gang creation, fighter generation. There's a table for abilities, weapons, all the equipment. Oh, the gods. Oh, interesting. Nice. So, favor of the gods table. Oh, wow. Very nice. Yeah, I like how all of this looks already. Rome's most wanted. So player-generated fighters are a great way to create a gang that is personal to you and carve out your own story. In addition, there are several notorious gangs already roaming the streets of Rome. These are known as Rome's most wanted. They are pre-made groups, gangs of fighters. They're taken as a whole or individuals to can uh, bolster your ranks of your generated gang and bring a theme or play style to the narrative you wish to weave. Nice. So here's yeah, all the stat lines for pre-generated to so the children of Epona. And I think they already have into the whole miniatures that the range of miniatures is quite significant because this is the you know, second edition or next you know a revised version of the game so they have a, an extensive uh, line of uh, range of uh, metal miniatures already you know and then also the what 30 that were included of the plastic citizens of rome yeah there's a lot so the daughters of sappho the lions of bacchus reapers of minerva sons of orcus the I Idols of March. <laughs> the Oscan players. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I definitely saw those on the Kickstarter. Remember the performance veterans of Aventine. The Lone Rome's Most Wanted. So, Barca. Decephony. Priscus. And then scenario creation. Oh, right. Nice. Creating your own scenario. And your own layout for the. Oh, excellent. Yeah, look at this. This is, their, this is examples of all their painted uh, MDF uh, terrain. I like all the buildings under construction and everything. So you got a lot of scaffoldings and balconies. It's good looking stuff, but it was just, it was a lot to add 
to the pledge. So I just st stuck with the starter bundle and tried to get motivated <laughs> to cut and print my own. Nice, and so additional advanced scenarios, escort, safe house, so what do we have? Market opportunity, looting, bounty, escort, safe house, assassination, protection racket, the brawl, find the stash, smugglers run, the raid. Oh yeah, look at that. Great photography of their painted miniatures. I and mean, I think the game's been around long enough they've had a lot of chance to do some nice work. Yeah, look at that. That's great. I love good miniature photography in a book. It just inspires you to, to paint well and, uh, you know, do as, as best you can with terrain. So you have these uh, very immersive, uh, immersive tables. Nice. And Cola, the denizens of Rome. Some more named characters. Oh, yeah. The, there we go. Yeah, the butcher, the baker. <laughs> Procure, the Domina, the retired gladiator, Marcus the Orator. And they have, yeah, these they all these are all miniatures available on their website as well. The Scorpion Thrower. <laughs> nice. Backstreet Healer. The Cillian Pirate. Am I pulling on something? Yeah, I'm gonna make sure I don't have the uh, pull the bookmarks out so I'm not putting any stress on those. Nice. And then here's campaign rules. Look at that. Great photography. Really nicely done. So campaign rules, objectives, campaign phases, campaign sheet, the setup phase, rooms most wanted, pregame phase. Oh yeah. So some examples, territories marked out for the players. Oh, so three-player campaign, five-player campaign. Wow. Yeah, so taking over uh, territory in the streets. So, yeah, seize territory, sabotage territory, contest territory. Excellent. Yeah, so the only kind of extended campaign rules. Very nice. So death, healing, notoriety, the trading phase. And here's some tables for equipment again. The ability tables, recruiting gang fighters, hiring Rome's most wanted, and ending a campaign. Wow, that's great. So optional campaign rules for up to more than six players. And more, and more of their terrain. So game phase, training phase. So it is this. Oh, some. Uh, a little bit of fiction to get you uh, immersed. And then here's the appendix with all of our, there's some painting I think in here, all kinds of stuff. Season Gangs of Rome, ah, version one, assets in version two. So yeah, this is a complete new version. So they're showing you how to, how the stats and everything will update. So you can use everything you already have. And I think, you know, that, that was what the veterans bundle was. It was this book and uh, some of the updated assets because you already have the miniatures and terrain, most likely, and probably the dice. And there we go. So there's the sprue that uh, War Games Atlantic did for the gang, gang fighters. And nice, yeah, nice instructions for uh, mounting and painting. Yeah, because people might need a little bit of help if you've never used like, you know, MDF bases and things. Might be a little bit different. Yeah, because if, if metal's, you know, metal has the puddle base. So this is great. Yeah, good advice, you know, how to cover up and kind of smooth out what you're dealing with. So the plastic, of course, you can probably glue right to the MDF, but uh, the metal's all going to have puddle bases that you have to deal with. So figure out what kind of texturing and things. And oh, here's great, uh, great facial detail, all the, uh, the ways to get. Some nice looking miniatures. And because it's a skirmish game, you don't have to, you know, bulk paint, you know, 20 at a time. <laughs> you can focus on the characters and make them look as good as you can. Oh, good. And here's an instruction. So, yeah, so it's laser cut, uh, unpainted laser cut um, MDF that all the terrain is. So they're giving you some advice on how to uh, handle that. And the punch out, I think, is going <laughs> to be the longest, the longest time at cleanup and uh, gluing. Wow, yeah, look at that. The, oh, yeah. That kits look good. Nice, yeah, I think I'm gonna try to do uh, some of my own 
terrain as uh, as you know similar to this as I can. I'd really like to uh, come up with a nice original board. Uh, oh, and here we go, making cobblestones. Very cool. Yeah, so all of their uh, photography, I think you could see the default was kind of a yeah cobblestone base like this. And so, uh, yeah, they give you some how to use, take that green stuff and make it into uh, those nice stone textures. And then more scenarios. Yeah, so quick play scenarios. Nice instead of things for campaign. Yeah, plenty of scenarios. Oh, and here's a good, here's campaign maps of mark the territories. Wow. And you have permission to photocopy <laughs> the folly page for our personal use. Nice. And so they showed you the examples of how to mark out during a campaign, what territories you've taken. Nice. So the roster sheet and campaign assets. And I think they have these available on their website as well, the digital versions. Nice. Yeah, nice and readable. Good icons for quick reference. You don't have to, once you know the stats, the, uh, and that helps other, you know, have this will work for all languages. Nice. And then a, uh, so campaign uh, for your territories and then names. So roll, <laughs> roll a D6 a couple of times and get some names for your fighters. Nice. Wow, yeah, lots of tables for names. So yeah, female, male names, story tables. Excellent. Yeah, what am I getting with sticking? Yeah, there's no damage or anything on the pages. They look nice and clean. Get a little pop. Reference sheets for action. Oh, great. Yeah, here's references for everything. So all you can do for move, attack, leap, climb, blend, bind, and then the mob and the turn sequence. Great. Here we go. The gangs, the mobs, the Incola, Rome's most wanted. Yes, so Footsore Miniature. So I'll put links to their uh, their website and everything so you can take a look at what they have. And oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, so I guess it's uh, Cerisa Precision does their um, MDF cutting for their... Yeah, I really liked that. I just couldn't couldn't do it. <laughs> couldn't double the size of the pledge, but uh, I really liked their terrain a lot. Nice, yeah, so I'll make sure all of these uh, links are up there so you can take a look at all of that. Oh, and even, so yeah, if uh, you've got a, a PDF version of the uh, rule book, you can even print out your own tokens. Yeah, so that's everything that we're gonna be looking at later. Nice, yeah, so how many, Pages just to give you an idea. So 192 with all your tokens and sheets. 192 page rule book. And really nice. And it got here in great condition. They protected it with cardboard. So look at that cover. It's not all dinged by metal miniatures. Excellent. So that is the rule book for the revised second edition of the game. Or I guess the revised edition. And here. Oh, these are. Wow, interesting. They're not the super glossy. Oh, there we go. There's a range finder and everything yeah so here's our big objectives and i guess our what our phases and then our tokens for activation and look at this yeah these are oh these are yeah these are printed on mdf this is thin yeah this is let me just pop one of these out yes this is laser cut mdf i'm sure the uh page <laughs> specified that very clearly but nice so these aren't gonna fray you know like cardboard tokens no matter how thick the stock is you handle them enough and they start to fray at the edges and the layers pull apart these are look at the color they got on this yeah this is i was wondering with the texture i was like that's not a cardboard texture so this is colored or you know um, printed mdf two-sided MDF and it looks like they even got good registration wow nice very durable tokens yeah so let's pop out this uh this range look at that that's nice no cardboard here I mean MDF is a very hard <laughs> heavy kind of cardboard but nice not the layers of glued it's that you know pressure uh pressure made uh Wood. Oh, and nice, really nice printing. I was wondering because I smelled the laser cut smell of wood, but I thought I was dealing with cardboard. Very, really nice. 
Excellent. And let's take a look at the dice. Now the dice don't have the serifs. They kind of did. I mean, it's very they're very readable, but they're they kind of did a sans serif. Like the dice in the uh, the book are the uh, you know kind of <laughs> Roman style uh, serif. Roman numerals, but these are, you know, these are very readable. It might help the, uh, from across the table. And these are nice. I can't tell. I don't think that I don't see a grain. So I think these are, uh, the cast, uh, dice. Ooh, yeah. They're, they've got a nice weight to them. I almost thought because of the color that they were wooden, but they don't have a grain on the metal. So they're definitely cast dice. So that's nice. So yeah, one through six in Roman numerals. But a little, yeah, see, so you see how they represent the kind of serifed numerals. So I was expecting it to look more like that, but uh, but it's it's still very readable. And they're nice, they're nice heavy, nice heavy dice. All right, so we've got two sets of those. And, wow, here's our mobs. Let's take a look at these guys. So yeah, here's our, our metal minis with our base. So it looks like, yeah, a mob consists of four. And do I have a ruler handy? These look like, what, 40, 50 mil? I usually have a, a metric ruler within reach. <laughs> but for some reason I don't. But yeah, these are, uh, just pull one of these out. Oh, nice. Oh, look at that. Okay, so you've got the cut. MDF, but you've got a bottom for it, so you can pop these out, and these are actually like 25 mil, and then so each mob member will get their own base that can be removed. And so you'll have a recess there. Nice. Let's do a quick look at the nice metal casting. Just a little bit of flash, but uh, yeah. Nice and a, a nice variety of um, <laughs> of mob members. So this is great. Oh no, I'm sorry, five. Did I say? Yeah, that's right. It is five. Five on a base. So a nice crowded mob. Yeah, these are great. And they're you know they're more human scale, not the heroic scale. Am I getting this in focus? There we go. Nice. So I think that, yeah, these would probably be from the lines that they already produce. So we've got our three mobs. And it's like we've got, a, yeah, a nice variety. There's a mother and child in there, as you can see. And a lot of people covering themselves with hoods <laughs> and cloaks. Nice. And so, yeah, we've got the, uh, the mob bases in there. So... Cast and here's our gangs. Nice. So let's see if these are the same size. Yeah, they are. Yeah. So you've got, uh, yeah, everything, everything on the nice little, what, 25 mil MDF. And let's just pull a whole gang out here. So this is everybody. I guess this is, yeah, this is at least a gang. Because how many did we get here? So for eight, yeah, we've got eight gang members here with their bases. Nice, yeah, got a little war banner stamp on the bottom. So nice cast, everyone's got their swords with their little channel <laughs> that we've got to trim off. But yeah, the nice, yeah, nice and detail. And metal, yeah, metal on MDF is gonna be a nice weighty miniature, so they'll have some some heft to them. Yeah, but great, uh, great job with the detail. They're not that super flat. You know, they're cast, cast in one piece, but they're not that super uh, flat uh, 2D looking miniature. Excellent, so that's our gang. And then here is, yes, 30 more bases. <laughs> <laughs> because we have this entire box. So I am not seeing a bag. Hmm. 
Okay, let me see. Um, yeah, it doesn't specify. Yeah, so bag not provided unless it's in here. <laughs> yeah, I thought for sure maybe one of these uh, would have the uh, the bag in it. Was that an add-on? Oh no, did I completely I did I completely miss a very important part <laughs> of the game mechanics? I've got some cobble bases. I don't see it as an add-on. I don't see the bag. I'll have to check the invoice and see. Uh, there's wound dice. Yeah, I don't see a, a, I don't see a bag. All right, well, let's take a look. Not to, not to worry, I'm sure there's there's something that will function around here. So yes, here's the official Gangs of Rome, uh, 30 multi-part hard plastic, 28 mil, Wargamers, uh, Wargames Atlantic uh, set. And so I was so happy to see that they had uh, produced these. So. If you know Wargames uh, Atlantic's uh, minis, they, they're really nice. We're using uh, some in other uh, games. And uh, yeah, they give you nice multi-part. You get a, a real good variety of uh, heads and arms and weapons and things. So you can exactly go with what you want. So with this set of 30 hard plastic miniatures, you can create a variety of options for your Gangs of Rome, assemble fighters, with a unique set of weapons, civilian members of Rome's mob with walking sticks and amphoras and armed with an array of swords, daggers, spheres, pilum, uh, bows, slings, clubs, and shields. These miniatures are also ideally suited for recreating the tumultuous events of the Spartacus Revolt. All right. I am Spartacus. Nice. Okay. So let's see. Ah, I still would like a... <laughs> Gangs of Rome official bag for my tokens. They've got such nice tokens. Oh, so this is, I think, going to be uh, like they usually do. I think it's going to be uh, identical. Uh, six identical. No, sorry. Five identical sprues. Wow. These are nice. Yeah, so you can see they're they're not the um, heroic scale. They're more the uh, uh, yeah, a realistic scale. But look at the variety. Look at all the the arms and body so how many we've got one oh and we've got upper and lower too so we've got one two three four five six yes six times five so five sprues with six bodies on them an infinite supply of heads look at all those heads <laughs> i love yeah i love those sprues the workings uh atlantic sprues there's nice variety yeah the uh is nice. There's bows. Yeah, so here's all of our weapons and arms and torsos and bodies. Yeah, so a whole range from fighters to just to putting together more more plastic mobs. So that's great. So 30 plastic miniatures. Excellent. Yeah, really nice variety. I can't wait to see what these look like put together. And as you can see, the scale, they, you know, they kept the plastic and the metal in exactly the same proportions and scale. So you're not dealing with things that look like they're completely from other worlds. They did a nice job of uh, recreating what, what they already had for their lines of miniatures. Very good. Wow. Yeah. So, so uh, five of these sprues with six Six bodies on them and a ton of extra, <laughs> extra arms and legs and stuff. Wow. So that is everything. So yeah, the only thing that I totally screwed up on <laughs> is there's no bag. And it's not, yeah, it doesn't say anywhere. So maybe that's just a uh, uh, something they offered on their website. But uh, nowhere does it uh, say that they give you a, uh, a pouch for drawing the tokens so pouch not included b y o p <laughs> oh i like the one they show in the rule book i hope those are still available somewhere oh that's cool wow well this is impressive i mean look at the the range of things that they had to produce mdf tokens dice i think they already had a lot of the miniatures but they did produce new miniatures uh as well in both the uh, the mob style, the smaller style, MDF uh, bases as well, 
and all fulfilled on time. So this, let me see the date. So the fulfillment date was January, was uh, just this past month. And the, oh, it just, it's just the last, I can't remember the, uh, the date that it went. Uh, oh, 15th. Yeah, the 15th of March last, uh, last year. So, wow, really good job. So, you know, within 10 months, they were able to, uh, uh, to fulfill this completely. Of course, this, you know, it's a revised version of their rules. I think some of the miniature lines existed, so they probably had, and they're capable of doing that. But they also, you know, working with the other company did the whole line of uh, laser cut terrain and offered huge, you know, bundles of that as well. So amazing. So the only thing I have to catch up on with uh, Footsore with is if they still have a bag <laughs> for the champions. Because you, you gotta have something that says Gangs of Rome on it. I guess, you know, anything will do. But this was a nice surprise too. I don't remember um, because they just say game tokens. Yeah, that's great. They don't say really nice color printed MDF tokens that are going to last forever. That's, yeah, that's really nice. And yeah, listen to that. That's wood. That's not glued together paper. So, uh, very cool. So yeah, no, they, um, so the, especially the, um, all the notorious, uh, you know, named characters and, uh, you know, famous gangs are still all offered on their uh, website. So, wow. So very good. I'm incredibly impressed <laughs> with sword miniatures. And I wanted to get this uh, open and uh, show you as soon as possible. So this was the starter set uh, for beginners that haven't, that don't have the uh, previous version, previous edition. And this is their second version of the rules. So uh, we'll, we'll see uh, when reviews start coming out from experienced players, like how they compare the improvements that were made. But I'm, I'm really interested in getting this on the table, you know, it's it's small, skirmish, and manageable. And also, I like the idea that you're playing a character. You know, you're you're playing a person controlling the gangs, and so there's a the narrative quality is uh, is very high because uh, you're you're actually playing a person seeking, uh, you know, control and uh, fame and power and uh, wealth <laughs> in this city. And I think that's a nice instead of you just playing this this godlike figure or some abstract, you know, player, you're actually a character in the game. So very cool. So thank you for joining me on this unboxing and wow, a Kickstarter. So put this one in the books, a Kickstarter fulfilled, <laughs> fulfilled on time when they said it was going to be and everything, the quality of everything is very nice. Um, they did a good job and there's nothing, you know, nothing disappointing at all. And exactly how they, um, uh, uh, represented it on the uh, uh, for the campaign. They did a really nice job fulfilling everything. And uh, wow. So looking forward to some Gangs of Rome and especially the challenge of doing some nice, uh, you know, historical uh, immersive uh, terrain. I'm going to have to get the uh, the laser cutter going and uh, find some good, uh, good sources for plans because that, yeah, just the photography in the book, there's a lot to... Uh, a lot to live up to. And of course they, they offer the, the terrain as well, the kits on the website. So thank you for joining me. So this has been Gangs of Rome, the uh, beginner's starter bundle for their second edition with everything except the pouch. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that leaves me a little, that seems like one of those things that would have uh, been thrown in there, but it's not on the campaign page at all. So it's not like a, it's not like something that was <laughs> missing or forgotten. It's just something that I didn't think about. So we will be drawing from a, uh, drawing from a bag of some sort, but uh, yeah, looking forward to uh, uh, seeing how these guys go together and uh, yeah. This is great. So uh, upturntable.com is the website and uh, you can find uh, links to everything there, all our videos and podcasts and everything. And we will uh, uh, be doing this again with another game. If someone actually produces something on time like this, we'll, we'll celebrate <laughs> that victory. And um, please like the video if you uh, enjoy taking a look at this new version of Gangs of Rome. Subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified when we go live. We do the weekly, which is tabletop topics every uh, Thursday night, uh, Friday, uh, Japan time. And uh, yeah, we got an actual play that happens uh, Friday night, uh, Friday night North American time, about uh, uh, eight o'clock Pacific. And uh, we're currently doing Blade Runner. 
And yeah, so subscribe for notifications on all that stuff and uh, leave a comment if you also pledged and you know where to get the bag to draw the tokens from. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>